With that said, I want you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Obedezco mis comandos y por ejerce a su mismo siempre. Touch them up now. Good luck to both of you. Tocanlo. Buena suerte, ambos. Joel believes that he's still one of the very top fighters in the world. First good punch was landed by Bradley, and it looked like it shook Casamayor up a little bit. Angus. Solid right hand up the middle, no doubt. Landed his straight right hand up the middle enough to make his point. I suppose this is the kind of fight, Emmanuel, the referee sees. It's just impossible to imagine a clean fight between these two guys with no unusual incident. Good left hook by, or a good right cross, I should say, by Bradley. Closer and faster pace than he likes to fight at. Good right hand over the top by Bradley. And there are some fighters for whom the word tricky would be a compliment. Tim Bradley wanting to fight Manny Pacquiao came up yesterday. Casamayor said, what are you talking about? I'm the one who should fight Pacquiao and Mayweather. And Bradley's trying to get real close so he can come to catch him on a shot with his head up. You got to get very close so he can catch him on a shot with his head straight up in there. And he thinks of himself as a champion. That was a while ago. Sparring buddy, and I use the term as care carefully as I can, Robert Guerrero, the fight was dreadful. Bradley takes and gives no quarter. And of course, part of the business decision that Bradley made, a very large payday, it amounted in the boxing community for walking away from that fight. He made it look to some. So, as it stands right now, Khan and Bradley, as to which one ranks number one, although it's Khan who has all the momentum at this point because he's had some big wins this year. And it the thing is, I don't see Khan as a junior we'll have to wait much longer after this fight. Right. I think he's a pretty good puncher. Not great, but not bad. That stacks up favorably with anything that anybody else in the 140-pound weight class has accomplished, including Khan. And the crowd makes clear what they think of Guerrero's performance so far. Hard right hand by Bradley over the top. Another cupping right hand for Bradley. Bradley took a PR hit when he turned down the con fight to fight all kinds of guys in their backyards, and he's, and he's always won. And I think he was aware of that PR hit he's taken, and he's fighting like he wants to get some of that. Years ago, Bradley experimented with a vegan diet in training. It worked so well for him, made him feel so good that he's full-time vegan now. Does not ingest animal protein, which makes him a much better fighter. Good left hook by Bradley. Another good left hook by Bradley. Best landed punch in the fight. In every round, that's very Tim Bradley. That's the pace at which he fights. Well, there was a lot of scoffing in the boxing fraternity among writers and chat participants when this matchup was made. Body shot. And down goes Casamayor on a body shot. They're, now this may become another one. Just hammering Casamayor. Body in, and Casamayor lands a low blow. Not a competitive fight as the 40-year-old is getting ripped to the body. Throughout this fight, and he's had limited success in spots, but Bradley's not having it. You can't con Tim Bradley out of a fight. Unless he dramatically improves this performance. Another good body shot by Bradley. Another left to the body. Another right to the body. Here you see the knockdown. It was scored by a right hand to the solar plexus. The most painful oh. punch you can get. <laughs> Unless something changes, there's another knockdown with your little brother, whatever it is. You take a shot in the solar plexus, it hurts. That's Tim Bradley hitting your jump. I remember, uh, and it's interesting that Bradley has not attempted to hit him there again with that punch. Arturo Gatti caught Leonard Doreen to the solar plexus, and Doreen didn't get up for about two and a half minutes. Good body shot with the left hand by Tim Bradley. Such a pro. Up meaning elevated. Out in the Palm Springs area. The desert storm scene. Fighter has done a brilliant job of maximizing what Bradley can do. If there's a knockout in this fight, it will be from an accumulation of body punishment.
Sotomayor at that perfect angle for Bradley. He just could not deal with this pace. Everything lasts too much, and Bradley won't give him any room. But Casamayor seems totally defenseless in there, Emmanuel. At what point should Miguel Diaz consider telling his fighter not to go back out for the next round? Too early? Here you see, which is really definitely a referee's call when it comes down to a knockdown. Because it wasn't a punch on the head, but... And the round four was because Dracula took a point for holding. Gave Tim Bradley 10-8 rounds in those two rounds. So, Tim Bradley really won. He's pitching a shutout 60 to 51. He got cuffed behind the head and pulled yep. down. Harold, what else you got? Okay, Jake, this is Rick, Rick Dracula's on the knockdown. All that tells us that more conservative in its employment of the replay tactic. Correct. You, you found a home for it here and there. Try and knock him out with it. As much attention as he should have been. Four and a half rounds. You know, or Casamayor could actually try to win. Credit for what looks like a too easy win so far against Joel Casamayor. Maybe he leaves here just with a paycheck, keeps his record unbeaten. Again, I raised the question. At what point should Miguel Diaz say to Joel, you know what, Joel, you've had a great career. Let's not bother with rounds 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I mean, he's just getting battered around like a tennis ball in there. He's got a chance to knock him out. Well, you couldn't stop this fight at the stage between the rounds because it's not where, you know, he's getting hit that many solid, but well, I spoke too soon. I started to say. <laughs> what round are you watching? Yeah. Casa Mayor's head. And there's a shot, and there's a shot. But he's hammering them with every shot, and particularly body shots. And go down goes Casamayor again. That's Miguel gonna Diaz yeah, is going to step through the ropes oh, and do exactly what I'm suggesting. Done. Good call, Miguel. He's a pro. And here's another look at Bradley hammering Casamayor around the ring with the shots that Miguel Diaz was able to see. And that's the knockdown there. The winner by TKO victory and still WBO junior welterweight champion of the world, Timothy Desert Storm Bradley.